Two of the following videos are true while the other one is trash. Can you spot the fake? Season 2 Episode 1 Sponsored by Wondrium Round 1, let's begin. When a car accelerates forward, you are thrown backwards against the seat, just like this air balloon. However, a helium balloon in the same circumstance is thrown forward. Place some sand into a container, then grab some non-washable oil-based paint. Carefully but thoroughly mix the paint with the sand. Add more as needed. Once it looks thoroughly coated, leave it to dry overnight. When you come back to it, you've now successfully made hydrophobic sand. As you can see, the sand refuses to get wet and water beads on the surface. If life gives you lemons and you need to write a secret message to your friend, you're in luck because all you have to do is smear lemon juice on a piece of paper and let it dry. It won't look like there's anything on the paper, but when your friend heats up the paper carefully without burning it, the message will reveal itself. You've seen all three videos now, pause to vote in the comments which one you thought was fake. If you thought this video was fake, you'd be wrong. To understand why the helium balloon is thrown forward, think of the car like this container filled with water and a bit of air. When the car moves forward, the heavier water moves toward the back of the container, which pushes the lighter air bubble to the front. In a similar way, the lighter helium is pushed forward as the heavier air moves to the back of the car. Lemon juice also can be used to write secret messages. That means this wasn't a real way to make hydrophobic sand. I switched out this painted sand with some actually hydrophobic sand that I bought online. The painted sand just acts like boring old regular sand when you add water. To make hydrophobic sand that interacts with water like this, you need to coat sand with a super hydrophobic coating. Next up, it's time for round two, which is a special round, a prediction round, where I describe what will happen and you will need to predict if it's true. Once I release them, these two balloons will race across the hallway. Because the blue balloon is bigger, it will propel itself faster and beat the smaller red balloon to the other side. I hot glued this roll of string to two glass cans. If I pull the string this way and at this angle, the object will roll to the left. Here's a cross section of you in case you want to think about it. First I'll pour hot water in one glass and cold water in another. Then I'll add red food dye to the hot one and blue to the cold so that it's easier to remember which is which. Next I'll do this twice, but I'll stack the glasses such that only a thin piece of plastic prevents the water from mixing. In the first example, the cold water will be on top, and the two colors will mix almost instantly when I remove the plastic divider, and the whole thing will look like a single color. In the second example though, since the hot water is on top, the water won't mix outside of a bit of demonstration error, and you'll still be able to see red water on top and blue water on the bottom. You've seen all three videos now, pause to predict which one you think is wrong. Although it wasn't pretty, you can clearly see that the colors mixed when the cold water was on top, but didn't when the hot water was on top. Even minutes after the demo, you can clearly see the difference in colors. This device does roll to the left when I pull at this angle. The key is to think about what kind of moment is created on the object by pulling on the string. By drawing a force vector on the string and clearly labeling the point of contact with the ground, you can see that a counterclockwise moment is produced, causing the device to roll counterclockwise. If I instead pulled the string at this angle, a clockwise moment would be produced and the object would roll clockwise. If I pulled the string in such a way that the force vector goes straight through the point of contact, then no moment would be created, meaning no rotation, and the object would just slide to the left because the net horizontal force is pointing that way. That means this one was wrong. Even with a substantial head start, the smaller balloon still catches up. Now it's time for the final round, round three. You might have seen from my other videos that a low temperature Stirling engine like this is powered by the heat from a hot beverage. However, if instead of hot water, you fill the mug up with ice water, the engine will still work. After removing the tea from a tea bag, unfold it into a tube and place it upright on a table. Then carefully light the top part on fire. Hot air rises, meaning once the tea bag has burned enough that it's become light enough, it floats up, up, and away. We've all lived through the struggle of putting Pez candy into a Pez dispenser, but I recently learned a trick that could have saved me a lot of time. Place the full, unopened roll of Pez into the dispenser. Quickly slam the dispenser closed, and the wrapper will tear off and exit out the bottom, leaving you to enjoy the candy. You've seen all three videos now. Pause to vote in the comments which one you thought was fake. If you thought this video was real, you'd be correct. A low temperature Stirling engine only needs a temperature difference to work. Tea bags also do work like this. As much as I wish this was true, this video was fake.
Hopefully you learned something in this video. If you did and want more entertaining and educational content, check out the sponsor of today's video, Wondrium. Wondrium provides a huge and evolving catalog of high quality content that you can watch on any device. I'm currently loving the show Epic Engineering Failures because the host uses real life demos to keep me engaged and explain design oversights that resulted in catastrophe. Like this demo showing how liquefaction caused some of the flood walls to break in New Orleans during Hurricane Katrina. Wondrium's currently offering a free trial so you can see how great it is for yourself. Just visit wondrium.com slash jaw-dropping science or click the link in the description to get started. Thanks for watching till the end and I'll see you next time.